What's going on YouTube? Today, we're going to talk about your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Just kidding. We're going to go over holsters, guys. Um, I told you that last week, so I'm going to follow up on that. And we're going to make sure that we get this done in a timely manner, under 30 minute video, because I've realized that some of these videos start to take a little bit longer because I, I drone. But we're going to go over your Savior, the holster, and what holster I use and what I used to use and also all the features of these holsters. So without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and crucify, and let's get into this. Guys, the Alien Gear Level 3 Duty Holster, the thing that Milspec Mojo uses. I know, right? I was watching a YouTube video and I saw it and I was like, oh, thank God, because, well, he's not gonna get crucified for using it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would be like, why are you using an Alien Gear? Well, I've been using the uh, 6360 RDS for a hot minute uh, and had some complaints on it nothing it was just me being stingy because uh, I wanted a faster draw time I wanted to be smoother on on the actual draw itself and I didn't want to fumble my draws and well alien gear uh, I was stumbling on the internet one day as we all do alien gear actually met met, met that whole concept that I was thinking about uh, the beauty of this three levels of retention like I said adjustable cant and retention you need 800 pounds of force to pull this bad uh, a gun out of this bad larry uh it is a low ride it's low ride capable mid ride capable and and regular so on your hip light bearing and a non-light bearing version they have it for a multitude of different weapons i recommend you guys check it out because mine mine are just for glocks um or shadow systems because they're pretty much the same thing except shadow systems is way better i'll go that i'll go into that in a later video uh, and then they can withstand 500 pounds of direct pressure before they break and I was reading that they could do like Negative 40 degrees to like 195 degrees Fahrenheit. It was crazy uh, Now I'm sure Safari land can do a lot of that stuff, but they at least what I've noticed for For my my style of shooting and, and what I do um, and this was for work as well like uh, not just my 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 business, but for like actual security work and shit but I couldn't get the draw I wanted as fast as I wanted and I wanted to be able to outdraw the rest of my co-workers because I'm competitive uh, and this was able to provide that for me now I've already given you all the details and I've already given you all that fancy knowledge that I you know say I always won't give it's time to move on to what I think of the holster and why I love it because they're so simple to use so simple to put on your belt uh, whether you're rocking molly or whether you're rocking leather or whatever it is wink wink leather nice um, these holsters are just they're, they're easy man like they they are grunt easy and this is a grunt gear review so that works um, they are so simple you really don't need to do anything to them out of the box just order the type of ride you want mid low or high uh, or regular and and just go with it uh you can adjust the cant which is done almost kind of like a safari land where you have these three screws back here but it's you know underneath it's just a different setup um regular phillips heads so you don't need all the stupid allen keys because i lose allen keys like a motherfucker but you don't need all the stupid allen keys just regular phillips or flatheads and then you just you know take them off adjust the cant throw them back in and you're set it takes two minutes now Another reason why I love it. The simplicity of this holster. YouTube, fake gun. Okay, see, look. Fake gun, CO2 cartridge. All right, now, you can put these in without a light. Of course, you can see I'm, I'm wearing the light bearing one. Okay, put it in. Seat it, and you're good. Um, super quick draw where uh, I can demonstrate with this because I'm kind of wearing mine. But, all right, you're going to push this down and everything pops forward. All of it just goes straight forward. You don't have to worry about flicking it forward and flicking your thumb back. Obviously, you see I took the ramp off this one because I didn't like it, um, which made it effectively a level two. But uh, it has a ramp and a hood. So the hood would cover the actual optic itself or the red dot, and then uh, the ramp would be what pushes everything forward, including the hood, um, if you do it right. And then you have your paddle right here that uh, you can use to uh, release the gun. 
Now, Alien Gear said, fuck that, I don't want to deal with that shit. So, what Alien Gear did was they put a button right here, alright? You push that bad boy, pops everything forward. Oh my goodness, does that make it easy. Alright, now, after you push that shit forward, or after you push it down, because you push it straight down, it's a really easy, easy thing to do. Um, so easy that grunts can do it. And then you flick this paddle backwards, and now your gun pops right out. So, demonstration-wise, nice and quick, all right? So, nice and easy. It goes right back into the holster with ease, even with the light on. Guys, I understand I don't have one on, but everything is super, super simple on these bad boys. Nice, plain and simple side view. Let's get that out of the way. Nice side view. Push down, flick back, come out. All right, push down, flick back, come up. Nothing gets caught. Uh, my optics never got caught. Uh, the only thing, okay, I'll, I'll correct my statement there. I run this with a Shadow Systems DR920P, which is a compensated, essentially fancy Glock. Uh, it's a compensated Shadow Systems. And the only thing that's ever gotten caught is the compensator. All right, because it's not meant to be ran with a comp. All right, guys, if you're looking to like actually run a compensa uh, a compensator, what was that? As, if you're if you're looking to run a compensator, guys, Dremel this bottom portion out. It has no effect on the functionality of the holster. Okay, you can do a lot to this holster, and it'll still function very very well. Um, I Dremeled the bottom of this out. I painted everything on this one. I Dremeled this one out as well. Um, and I haven't had any problems. As long as you do the, the, the right drumming in the, in the right spots, you're fine. Um, and my compensator, once I got that all squared away, it took me a couple times to kind of figure out like, oh, okay, my compensator's caching there. I need to hit that one more time. Hit it a couple more times, and it was great. Uh, no problems whatsoever with this system. And I, I'm going to continue running it for... Well, until someone comes out with something better. And for me, I mean... I, I'm so used to this now that um, on level two, I'm putting up 0.54 draws at seven meters with an eight inch plate. Um, at level three, adding only 0 .0, sorry, 0 0.2 or three seconds is, that's yeah, pretty quick. So 0 0.82 um, at seven meters on an eight inch plate. Like that's, that, uh, that's, for me, having that standard, I'm very comfortable with. Um, and I'll, I'll put some videos out there just to prove uh, that I'm not sh not, like, not talking out my ass here um, But other than that guys that really wraps up the video. It's a nice and quick one um, There's really nothing to it other than just I like these over my safari lands now if you're looking for merch mission essential gear Go to vendors go to ground level mindset and boom you're right there. All right all our shirts are 30 bucks We're coming out with a new one here. Uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit of a uh, I would say it's probably going to be a little bit of grinding some people's gears, but we don't mind that here. And then uh, they have all of our other shirts, our Banger Bros, our uh, Tyranny shirt, and then our Can't Snuff the Rooster shirt, which is uh, one of our guys here, Pat. He uh, he was over in Ukraine, and, and we kind of based that shirt off him. So, guys, thanks for watching at ground level with me, Brandon. I'm so happy to provide you guys these videos, and I really hope that you guys like them. If you don't like them, comment. If you like them, comment. If you fucking want to crucify me in the comments because you choose Alien Gear over Sparland, go ahead, guys. I really don't mind. Uh, please, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I just want to see your guys' comments. I want some interaction. I, I, I want to talk to you guys, all right? Let me know what you guys want to see next week or in the coming two weeks, three weeks, whatever. Um, I got a couple things I can review, Everly Stock Bags, another Mystery Ranch Bag, uh, Stoger M3K, um, my Daniel Defense M4 Block 2, whatever it may be. Uh, I got plenty of stuff, guys, and I'm always looking for your guys' opinion on things, and I would really love the feedback, all right? So, that being said, I appreciate you stopping by, and I appreciate everything you guys do for this channel and just giving me views. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you next week at Ground Level. Later. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean to throw you. It's okay. It's okay. I'll still use you on my backup belt. It's all right. Actually, my third tier belt. Shh, shh.